So let's hop on the DNA analysis thing. Um, so Dr. J did mine the first time, but we didn't do the full 90 minute deep dive. And we kind of breezed over it at 20,000 feet. And one of the things he said, he's like, you know, there's some things here that if you really want to get into, we can get into them, but it's probably not, you know, something you want to talk about for 90 minutes on your show and get into all those details. But I found it, dude, it's unbelievable. Like this, this, this $300 that you can spend with Dr. J to get your DNA analyzed is probably the best 300 bucks you can spend from a starting point for health, nutrition, sleep, and all these different things. Because a lot of people will be like, oh, I watched this guy on YouTube, or I heard this podcast, and he said, well, you have to sleep at this time, or you have to wear these glasses at this time, or do that at that time, or eat these foods, eat loads of avocados, don't eat loads of these sort of things. It's like, that might work for you, but it may not work for me, depending on how my DNA is structured. Mine's different from yours, right? So here's what I found when I did mine. So um, I've got this rare gene, which doesn't allow me to process plant cholesterols. And so my system gets like basically backed up and bunged up anything, seeds, uh, nuts, um, seed oils, av like anything that's got fat in it that comes from a plant, my body can't process it. So it just blocks up my system. You get some inflammation out of it. Surprisingly, my inflammation markers on my blood labs are actually pretty low. So everything else I'm doing seems to try to neutralize it, but neutralizing it isn't optimal, right? No. Um, so that was the first thing. So plant cholesterols was a huge detriment. I've cleaned them out of my uh, diet. I used to eat like two avocados a day. And he's like, avocados are like kryptonite for you, dude. You have to stop eating them. I'm like, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, you know, you start there and you start looking at other parts of your DNA. And like my mom's cultural side of the family is, is Greek, but they're really Italian, um, according to the source code. And then my dad's side of the family is broadly Northwestern European. So you can kind of read like, you know, Viking. So whatever D DNA I got myself, it's basically from family members that ate a lot of meat. And my system's good with me. People will tell you, you know, you can't eat meat. Your cholesterol is going to go through the roof, blah, blah, blah. I can't eat fatty plants. Like that fucks me up way more than anything else. So again, like you can't follow somebody's diet because they say, just be a vegan or just be a meditarian <laughs> or whatever. It's like, dude, for 300 bucks, you can find out exactly what your ancestors have been eating and exactly what your body processes and can't process, right? What was your experience with Dr. J when you did yours? First off, man, it's an honor to always be here with you. I appreciate you. I'm grateful. Uh, and to, to your audience, too. I've gotten so many great <clears throat> emails and messages from all the people that follow you over the years. So, again, bro, appreciate you. Love you. Thanks. I'm always grateful to be here with you and, and, and to talk to you. Um, and you do have an amazing audience. And, you know, Anthony, when after I introduced him to you, you know, was like, dude, Richard's the man. I'm like, yeah, bro. All my people are cool. <laughs> But uh, so I worked with Dr. J. We did four webinars back from, I think the last webinar we actually did was right before the scandemic. But we did like four webinars from 2000, end of 2018 to early, I'm sorry, late 2019. And they were all profound. You know, I have them all. We did the metabolism. We did the brain. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll tell you this, you know, I know you know this, but your audience might not. I mean, Dr. J was the guy who decoded gynecomastia for men is genetic. There wasn't a single surgeon on the planet that was performing gynosurgical, you know, excisions or removals, you know, until Dr. J decoded this. And I was kind of explain gyno just for people that don't know what that is. Yeah. So gynecomastia is literally 64% of all men in the world have gynecomastia, meaning they have the gene, they code for the codon is when Anthony looks at your genes for uh, tissue that grows outside of the male breast that becomes like fatty tissue or almost like a tumor. Now I have that gene. And in 2016, I had gyno from my right nipple removed. And I had the world's at the time leading gynecomastic surgeon who's down in uh, Newport Beach, California, Dr. Joseph Cruz. And he at that time didn't know that it was genetic and he had already performed you know, 4,400 surgeries at the time. Now, fast forward to now, he's performed like 15,000 surgeries. I blew him up. I did all sorts of interviews and podcasts with him and stuff like that. And then, you know, he found out through Dr. J in 2018 about all this. And so, you know, he became even deeper into this. But Dr. J, to, you know, I, I tell people this because, uh, as you said, Dr. J is a very underrated person. Like his, his technology is probably as good as anything out there. And I actually have gone on a record, you know, agree in agreeing with you, but you can go, taking it further. Like 
I don't believe if you're a hormone optimization clinic or a longevity clinic or whatever you want to call it, health optimization clinic, mm -hmm. you should incorporate his diagnostic testing before any of your patients start anything because he can look at your polymorphisms, which are essentially, you know, like you said, the genetic faults or the genetic, you know, potential genetic faults that you're going to feel. So if you're a guy, for example, that is a, what is called a hyper excreter as a, if you use testosterone and you're a hyper excreter, you're going to have specific issues. Um, in, if you inject your testosterone versus if you use a transdermal delivery system. So there's all these little nuanced things that people don't know, you know, getting back to what you were saying about taking diet, you know, using diets or specific diets or supplements. Mm -hmm. If you don't know these things, there's no way you can actually find out unless you suffer, you know, most of the time through the experiences of, of, of dealing with that, you know, for example, again, the gyno gene, I also have, uh, the gene for like, I can take massive amounts of caffeine, stimulants, uppers, any of that stuff. And it doesn't affect me. Whereas like somebody else and one of, you know, one of the peptide drugs we're going to talk about today is tesofensine. If you're sensitive to that, which is the opposite of what my codon says, um, you can't even handle a small dose of tesofensine because you're going to lay on your bed, staring at the ceiling at night, you know, unable to go to sleep. So all these sensitivities he reads in your DNA and he can decode these things for you so that you can then take it to your physician or whoever you're working with. If again, you're into these things that you and I are into that will prevent you from experiencing these horrible things. You know, a good friend of mine, Dr. Rob Kominarik, I should probably have him, have you and him talk too. He's a great guy in Dayton. You know, he works with a lot of celebrities and stuff. Great, great hormone observation doctor doing this for 23 years. He talks about how like certain guys have this weird polymorphism where if they stay, if they take injectable testosterone within 24 to 36 hours, bro, they have panic attacks. Really? Like he literally knows a guy who was a CEO of a very large corporation who was his client, who he didn't have him on testosterone for his first couple of years because he attempted to do everything naturally. And he eventually put him on and the guy's wife called one morning and said, uh, my husband is underneath his, our bed in the bedroom right now. And he doesn't know what to do. And he's in a panic. He said to call you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, I mean, these are the kind of things that like Anthony can read, but again, if you're ignorant and you're not doing these tests, and like you said, it's the easiest $300 that you'll ever spend because he'll sit down as you know, and he walks you through. I think a lot of guys, dude, you know this because you've done lab work. I mean, you've uh, helped guys try to get labs and stuff done. A lot of people have an apprehension to doing some of these things because they, they kind of say, well, fuck, I don't know how to read it. You know, what mm -hmm. am I going to do? I'm not going to, Richard's not going to read it for me. Jay's not going to read it for me. Like, what am I going to do? So then they just like decline it, but it's like Dr. J, he sits down with you and he goes through it all with you, mm. you know? So it's totally worth it. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said earlier, the best 300 bucks you can spend. I mean, yes. people will spend that kind of money on pills or powders or, 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 or proteins. And it's like, fine. Um, I mean, you could be spending loads and loads of money on like whey protein, for example, and find out your DNA. And allergic to it. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't accept it. So, bro, I never could. I never could drink protein. I figured that out when I was young. I was always lactose intolerant. I could drink yeah. milk up until I was twenty four, and again, nobody knew any of this stuff. And then we found out that like a lot of adults lose that enzyme to digest lactose. Yeah, yeah. It's so true. you can't even eat whey. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's no, it's just bonkers. Like the amount of data that comes off it, like the way that it works. So you guys understand and Dr. J's link for his DNA analysis is pinned in the description of this video. Um, the way that it works is you get your raw code from 23andMe or Ancestry. Um, I don't know what that costs, like 80 bucks or something like that. You can probably get like a black, like 50 black, bucks. Yeah. Something. Like yeah. Like bucks. you can get a coupon somewhere, probably online to get it for less or, you know, black Friday sales or whatever. But, um, you know, so you go get that and then it, you know, you get an email or like a little diagram in your app and it says, oh, you know, you're 23% from this part of the world and 17% from this part of the world. And it's like, fine, whatever, you know, like that might be a little bit interesting for some people, but the raw code that you can download that they get from the, the uh, DNA code they get from your saliva is what Dr. J runs through his algorithm. And then he'll give you this email with a printout that it, mine was like a dozen pages long and, it, and, it, and it's got all these genetic um, anomalies that you'll have in your system that are similar to some people and very, very different from other people. And you'll spend 90 minutes on a private consult and tell you exactly what everything means, what it means for supplementation, what you should be supplementing with, what you should stay away from, what you should 
take out of your diet, what you should add to your diet, if you have any predispositions for uh, heart disease, dementia, Alzheimer's, all of these things show up in your DNA code, right? So if you've had family members that have had like gallbladder issues or they've had Alzheimer's, there's there's things that he can guide you on, a, you know, on a path that will either stop that from happening or minimize the effects of it happening. Um, so again, you know, I really encourage you guys to take a look at that. Uh, it was, it was like, I've spent a lot of money on bio, like biohacking shit, <laughs> dude, I have everything. I have, <laughs> I have the cooling mat under my mattress, like everything, like I've done it all. Right. This was probably the cheapest and the most effective thing that I've done. So it is. he's probably going to jack up his prices cause he's going to get so busy after this podcast. So I'd grab it now. It's like 300 bucks. It's like 50% off. So that links below. Super, super useful information. If you want to know more about Dr. J, I would go back to my other two podcasts that I did with him on the Playing to Win series, where we were talking about his book, Estrogen Generation. And the second one, it's we're still touching on the, the topic of environmental estrogens and how they affect you, plus some stuff on cholesterol. So go look at those. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clip's from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment, you'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.